repeat reporting fun. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I made a report because uh, I've been sick. I had COVID-19 and it was uh, fun. Really great time. Had a great time. Not fun at all. Um, basically, what happened is... Try to speed this up because there's a lot of details. Um, just after Christmas, I started coughing. And it was just coughing, but it was... Well, <clears throat> and my mom said, tested for COVID, we want you to get tested too. And so I went to get tested with my mother. And uh, it was it was simple. It was quite simple. It was... It was a little bit of a lineup. You got in, you needed your ID, and you had to fill out a paper with your email address and your, you know, phone number, everything you need, whatever. And then you went to a room, they shoved the, the thing up your nose, and that was uncomfortable, but we did it. And then it's like, okay, thanks for coming. And we just walked out and done. And I was like, okay, great. So I went home, normal, everything was normal, still coughing. This was just after Christmas, okay? And, um, and I was just coughing. So the next day, I think it was the next day after I got tested. Yeah, the next day, a couple days after I got tested, who cares? I was at my parents' house and I was taking my summer tires because I stored them at my parents' house and putting them in bags and um, from my trunk and rolling them into the backyard with my father and, uh, and lifting them up. And I noticed like, oh God, why am I so weak? And I kept coughing and coughing and coughing like two days later after the test and so then we did that and then my dad's like oh can you help me I want to try to hook up some kind of way in his in his SUV to trickle charge his battery because you know these complicated new cars there's so much electronics going on that you know your battery dies pretty quick and you know so <clears throat> anyways so that happened and as we're as we're sitting there with the hood open. Um, I was leaning in the engine bay, so that's your visa was hot, and I'm like, I'm really dizzy. Like, I'm not feeling good at all. So my dad went inside, and there's a chair in the garage, and I was sitting on it, and I was like, I might fall down. So my dad goes, you know what, I'm just gonna bring it to Nissan or Acura. I don't, what kind of truck does he have? I don't even remember. It's a nice truck. Anyways, I go inside, my shoes off, and I lie in the foot of the the stairs. The stairs that go down and then there's a, another landing and then there's a couple of stairs. I lied there and I felt like I was going to pass out. My mom was on the phone with my sister. My dad was still in the garage and I lied there for a while and then I just got up and I said, I'm going home. I don't feel good. I'm going home. And I'm still coughing. And I got home and I took off all my clothes except for my underwear and I lied on my couch with my comforter and I passed out for six hours. I didn't check my temperature or anything. I just thought, I don't know, you know. I woke up, I didn't hear my, I didn't hear my phone, uh, my mother had called me, a couple of friends had called me, I didn't hear a word. I wake up, it's dark, and like, I take my temperature, and 37 is normal, um, Fahrenheit, whatever, and I was at, I was at like 38.9 or something, and I'm like, I can't be right, I kept doing it, kept doing it. So I just lie down again, bang, two hours later, I wake up, I have to pee so bad. I get up, I'm so dizzy, I had to sit down to pee. I get back, I check my temperature, it's both the same. I lie down again, and I slept like till four o'clock in the morning. I woke up coughing, 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 coughing. So, I think it was, I told my mom, and she was like, okay, you have a fever, that's a fever, like, stay home, calm down. Okay, I was like, okay, okay. I, I think it was the next day or that day, I got a phone call from the CLSC saying, you're positive for COVID-19. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah. You, and, you know, check your email because there's instructions on what to do and everything. And we're going to send you a letter to tell you what to do and everything. And I'm like, what? Like, I don't know if that was as scary as when they told me I was having a heart attack. I think it was more scary because when I, they told me I was having a heart attack, I was in a hospital. I'm like, they're going to take care of me. But I mean, my heart attack was nothing. But, well, you know, whatever. And... And so that was it, and I saw my email, and it was like, stay home for 10 days, um, have people bring you stuff, if not, if you don't have anyone to help you, like if you're older or something, like call this number and they're gonna help you and whatever. But I had my parents, 
and I wasn't going to work. We went, we, we were off work, then we went back to work, but work was quiet. So I told my work, I'm going to stay on unemployment because I need to take care of my parents. And then now they have to take care of me. So it was emotional as hell and scary as hell. Um, and that's what happened. And my mother was bringing me stuff. Uh, I, was, I, I started making my own Gatorade. I don't know if I was doing that before. Like with, with the powder and the <coughs> sorry, the powder and the water. I'm drinking a lot of vitamin water. I really like that stuff, ear scratcher. And then it's just basically, you have no energy. You have no energy. So you sleep all day. You sleep, you sleep, you, sleep. you try to get up, try to eat. You, you have an appetite, but anyways, and then you eat and then you just want to go back to bed. You have no energy. It's, it's, it's really scary. Coughing, coughing, coughing. Checking my temperature. My temperature went down pretty quick. And then I actually started feeling better. I told my mom, I'm feeling good. She said, well, you're going to stay in until whatever. But I was going to the store downstairs in the building. By the way, that's where I got this, is in the building. I guarantee you. This building is old. People are stupid. Um, not wearing masks. And um, there's not a lot of ventilation here. And one of the ventilation shafts is on my floor. And it just has like maybe 10 vents and on the 8th floor. So the air from the elevators and stuff kind of like gets suctioned through there anyways I definitely got it in this building so my mother was bringing me some food one day and I saw I go all these letters I go I don't know what they're for and she looks and she goes well there's one for you so I, I take it I'm like okay I go back to my apartment and I open it and it says uh, okay you're positive for coronavirus coronavirus COVID-19 um here's what you should do stay in da, 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 this that that this that that uh, wear a mask, yeah, don't go out, uh, and I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking every one of those letters is someone in the building that has COVID, and I was blowing my mind because during Christmas and stuff, they were on the Christmas tree, and they were with people's Amazon packages under there, and I didn't know what they were, so every time I went down to the store, I was like, that's how many people in this building have COVID. Later on, I found out from my mother, because she got tested at the same time, my dad went like the next day that whether you have it or not you get that letter so I felt better about that anyhow about three weeks into January two weeks three weeks into January I was fine I still had a bit of a cough um there were some signs <clears throat> and then I got another cough this one was worse it was like either bronchitis or a pneumonia I don't know but it was bad it was like it was brutal so my mother's like, call the CLSC and talk to a doctor and see what they tell you to do. So I did, and the, the service was excellent. I got to talk to a doctor, Dr. Falke, and he was amazing. And as I'm talking, I'm coughing. And I go, I, had co I have COVID. And by the way, when they called me to tell me I had COVID, I said, so now that I have it, I can't get it anymore? And she's like, no, no, you can still get it again. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Great news. Fantastic. It's scary. It's very scary. So I talked to the doctor and he gave me a prescription. I'm looking for my pump. Where is it? There it is. Hold on. I'm coming back. Uh, he gave me this pump, which is, it's just like a asthma pump, but it's in this thing called the Aero Chamber Flow View, which makes it easier for like, I don't know, people to inhale it. And I, that's, I really like it. I didn't even use it today because I'm much better now. It's been, a, it's been a, more than a month, like a month and a couple days. Anyways, so I started taking antibiotics. Now, the antibiotics did some fun things for me. Um, I lost my appetite on antibiotics, but what it did is make my stomach feel sick to my stomach. And I'd wake up and be like, I'm going to throw up, but, you know. And then I would have to eat. I've been eating Nutri-Grain bars beside my bed with my vitamin water whenever I felt like this. And I would start to gag as soon as I take one bite of the nutri -Grain bar, apple cinnamon is the best. And I'd be like, I'm, I'm going to throw up, I'm going to throw up, I'm going to throw up. And i have garbage with two garbage blinders in it if I do throw up. And uh, <coughs> that was not throwing up. And I would feel sick for 30, 40, 50 seconds. And then I'd be fine. Finish the rest of the bar go back to bed no reason to get up nothing to do um no energy at all and then 
I would get up later on and be like, oh, I feel sick to my stomach again. I have to eat. And I was eating like peanut butter sandwiches, which was the same thing. Take two bites and you're just like, oh, and I puke. And then it's like 10 minutes later, five minutes later, whatever. Oh, I'm starving. Let's continue eating. And it was like that for seven days. And it was, it was hell. It was hell. I lost, I'd say 10 pounds. Does it look like it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not good. I lost muscle mass that you wouldn't believe. And, uh, and then it slowly started to get better. I was taking cough drops and, um, the pump helps a lot. So I, now I'm much, much better. I've gone in the car with my mother while she does errands. I've gone to the house to see my parents with a mask on, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not fun and it's not a flu. It's way worse than the flu. Um, I, I'm pissed at this building that I know I got it from here because no one else got it that my family didn't get it anyone get it um, a guy got it at work and then my work shut down again because it's totally non essential and uh, I had to call my work it says you you're obliged to call your work so I called and my boss hates shit like that so he was freaked out I talked to the other boss and she's like what what are the symptoms what happens and I tell her and she's like okay because my my son had a bad cough and whatever so anyways, I'm feeling much, much better now. I'm still off work, but what a shitty time for this to happen. It's fucking, right now it's the temperature, minus 15 outside, it's freezing cold, it's still winter, and I'd love it to be like nice out. It's happened in the summer would be much better. I could, you know, go for a bike ride. Actually, I probably wouldn't go for a bike ride, but um, it'd be too much for my lungs right now. And, uh, and um, go for a walk just get outside you know so I can't really do that so I was really going crazy for a while I had a, a really hard time stressing about that and getting upset about that but you know my mother's a saint my parents are saints and they're helping me out a lot and I'm getting emotional so just drink to kill your emotions Peter well that's it just be safe guys is what I'm saying Ugh. wear your mask wear two apparently now you're supposed to um, stay out of big buildings that have bad ventilation. Um, don't touch your face. I just touched my face. And that's it. Um, it's, it's just a lot of sleeping and losing weight and having no energy. And it, it sucks. It really, really sucks. I hated antibiotics, but they really made the cough go away very quickly. Within seven days, I was fine. Um, I still have some coughing. And you just cough up, like, like white phlegm. It's not even, like, green phlegm or blood or anything. Of blood for and that's it I go out COVID-19 goes out of my body hopefully hopefully I'm not still contagious that's what they don't know and oh there's a new strain by the way that's that's also great so be safe guys I wanted to make this video just to let you know those are kind of some of the those are some of the symptoms of having it and if you get it just hopefully you have people to take care of you and good friends I couldn't drink for like two weeks that's probably where I lost all the weight actually I'm just joking I go out this video go goes out be safe help people you can and just be happy you're healthy bye oh my god I'm getting too emotional for this